Alex in Long Island, New York says, how does summing to mono work? I get that a stereo track is two channels and mono is a single channel, but how is this accomplished? What is being lost when you convert two channels to mono? Any issues or different methods or, uh, of accomplishing this? And if so, which is better? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So here's the first thing to understand. What we're going to do is we're going to take a left and a right channel and we're going to combine them together into one. All right? So if you were to simply take a Y connector from the output of your preamplifier and you plug the left channel into the right channel and sum those two together into one single thing, you'd have a disaster on your hands. You don't want to do that. Why? Well, because it's not actually summing. It's actually two low output impedance outputs from your preamplifier that are battling each other. Okay? So in order to sum something, we need to have either a transformer, which can do that, or simply a couple of resistors, right? So in a typical summing circuit, we'll have two resistors. Let's call them 10K, all right? That's probably a pretty reasonable thing. So if you want to make your own, you could just go down and get a couple of, R let's just say RCA cables, and snip one, in the middle on your hot lead, solder a 10K resistor and then hook the grounds back up. Or you could do this in, 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 a, in a little uh, Y thing. I've done this before. It's really simple. And you take this 10K resistor and you put it in series so that there is this resistor is between the output of your preamp and the output of the summing circuit. And then you do the same for the right channel and you take the two loose ends now of the 10K resistors and you tie them together. At that junction, you will have mono. All right. So what happens when we have mono? Once we sum it properly with some kind of impedance or something to help us sum, uh, and we could talk about an actual summing circuit, in, if we did it electronically, we would use the inverting input of an op amp. So that ha and that's that's going to get too complicated. Never mind. Well, let's just stick with the resistors, because <laughs> a sum because that that'll sound completely wrong. Because the input impedance of a summing is zero, but we, we and you have to have resistors just like that, and then you take that summed signal and then you you put it over. But you're not going to deal with op amps. I still I, you know I still am threatening. If I ever get enough time to do a whole series where I set up a bench and I start explaining things and with op amps and what, yeah, it'd be kind of fun. I just, oof, time. <laughs> Who knows? All right. So now you have the output of these two 10K resistors. They're summed together. Now what happens? Well, in a, stere in a typical stereo recording, we have a center channel. We have a left and we have a right. Now the center channel in a stereo system, of course, is a phantom channel. It doesn't actually exist. What does it mean? It means that we have an identical signal in the left and the right channels. That creates this phantom third or center channel. When you sum the two together, let's say it's my voice that's in the center, you have an equal signal from the left and an equal signal uh, from the right of my voice, they sum together and you get one voice still in the center. The left and the right, they just add it in and you hear those as things coming in and out. The only time you'd have any kind of trouble is if you had a phase difference, which is rare. So sometimes in some of these fancy recordings you'll have, they're trying to skew the sound and the imaging with these phase th tricks. And if you sum those together, you're going to have cancellations. But Generally, most recordings, never going to be a problem. But that's how you would wind up doing that. Okay? Hope that answered your question. Thanks.